Welcome, in front of me is a Google Pixel 5a and today I'll show you how we can boot this device into recovery mode. So to get started, let's hold the power key, from there we're gonna select power off, and when the device turns off you wanna hold power and volume down at the same time. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, with Google Infinite Wisdom is when you're holding those two keys and it boots you into boot mode, because that's where we first need to go, uh, first option selected is start. If you hold it for just a half a second too long, uh, it accepts you releasing power button as a confirmation of the first option to start, which leaves this mode automatically. Infinite wisdom, go figure. Anyway, so the moment you see the mode appear like anything on the screen, instantaneously let go of these buttons as quick as you can. There we go. Um, so, like I said, um, we have our options right here, so we will navigate using volume keys. And you want to navigate till you see the recovery mode right here, and then confirm it with power key. Now I believe next thing we will see is Android with no command. Come on camera. There we go. So there we go. Uh, so once you see this, you want to hold power key and press volume up once, and this will redirect you to recovery mode. Now in here, again, you will need to use volume keys to navigate through the options. And we have reboot system now. So basically the same as before, uh, it leaves back to Android. Uh, reboot to bootloader, which takes us back to bootloader. Uh, and enter fastboot mode, which I believe does the same thing because uh, bootloader and fastboot mode here are, I think, called the same. Uh, when we boot it up with the power key and the volume down, uh, it is called fastboot mode, but if you select restart bootloader, it, does this, it takes us back to the same place. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, scrolling back down, we have apply updates from ADB or SD card, web data, mount system, view logs, run tests, and power off the device. And that's all we have. So now I'm going to stick with the first option, confirm it with power key, and this will take me back to Android. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.